Hi, this is Amy Blaine. Welcome to the ExplorePeoria.com Entertainment Report, brought to you by Avantis. Hello there, my name is Kim LeHue, and I'm here with my husband Rick and daughter Zofia, and I am a triple negative breast cancer survivor. I'm very proud to say that. And I'm really looking forward to uh, this weekend with the 32nd annual Race for the Cure here in Peoria and I'd love to invite people to come out and join us. There is still plenty of time to sign up for this weekend's Race for the Cure. Come on into the Metro Center, the Komen office is there. It's easy to find and they are open um, all, all day and happy to help you out with any registration or you can do it online too. Susan G. Komen to me has been um, kind of a mainstay in most of my adult life, um, my mother, uh, was a breast cancer survivor for over 30 years. She was diagnosed in the 80s and uh, we started doing the Race for the Cure as a family back then um, and have always uh, enjoyed being a part of it and always proud to have the home of Susie Komen be here in Peoria. There is so much hope on the horizon uh, through funding that Susan G. Komen helps provide um, for genetic testing and all kinds of research and development. So hopefully this little bump in the road for me um, will just uh, be that and the next generation, my daughter here and um, you know all, all future folks will have a more positive potential outcome um, if, with a diagnosis like breast cancer. Uh, one of the books that was given, that was co-sponsored by Susan G. Komen, was the uh, co-survivor book. Uh, very helpful, and, and that kind of started off a team effort, um, and, and the Susan G. Komen staff has, has been uh, unbelievable. Uh, it's a family, and, and they've been just so great to work with. Um, and so along, getting the book and understanding what the co-survivor needs to do and, and understand what's going on. and and the family atmosphere of Susan G. Coleman has just been wonderful. Something to keep in mind for race day, it is not only a race where you can sign up to run, um, but you also have a couple of different opportunities to walk, either a shorter course or a longer course. There's going to be pre-festivities starting at 7 in the morning, but you know, get your warm up on, just get to meet other survivors and uplift everyone. and. Uh, just really get into the fun atmosphere that the morning brings. Of course, the race will start at 8, two different, the race and the walk. And if you're not able to do the walk or the race, you can be a spirit walker, or um, you can, of course, make a donation of any kind, too. And um, then after the race, there's going to be fun festivities for the family, including uh, a kid's kind of corner where they'll have face painting and just you know, fun foods, and then um, the corn wolves will be playing, so I'm planning on doing a little dancing afterwards to do some celebrating. And um, then, of course, you can just make a day of it and, uh, and enjoy it with your, your supporters, your friends, your family. Um, everyone that's there is there for each other, so it's a beautiful day. We are the LeHue family, and what is our saying here? We want to be fierce. The Bunnies has so many choices, we can only name a few. Spaghetti, ravioli, cordellini, chicken, parmesan, fettuccine, and lasagna, tasty pizza, and the list goes on. The Bunnies has so many choices, it's great Italian food. Find Peoria area events and entertainment when you subscribe to the ExplorePeoria.com electronic newsletter. It's free. Sign up today at ExplorePeoria.com. Anything you need to know and the only site you need to go, explore Peoria.com.